Well, good morning, everyone. It's not the morning, it's the afternoon. Good day. Good day, everyone. It's been a couple of weeks since I last uploaded. I'm sure it's quite obvious as to why that's been. I'm starting to feel a bit more like myself and I'm starting to feel a bit more motivated to try and get life back to a little bit more normality, I suppose. I think this morning specifically, I woke up feeling much more motivated and focused and positive than I have felt in the last couple of weeks. Thought, let me come on and chat to you and I've, I've missed you all. And I really felt like today I wanted to chat with you and spend the day with you, which I haven't felt like doing um, since I last uploaded. I have a feeling that part of that reason could be because the shops are opening today, which is very exciting. So I thought I would take you with me for a little venture down into town, just to see how the land lies, what's open and, you know, I guess this new normal of of what what that's going to look like with things like shopping and I've missed just going for a mooch. That's all I want to do. I just want a mooch. Who else is with me? Are you just just desperate for a mooch? I obviously need to start buying things kind of baby wise, but above all else, I just want to go and have a look at things um, really, and that's it. So I don't know if I intend to go and actually buy things today. It's more just to scope everything out. I know that in my town, John Lewis is open. There's a Fenix department store that's open, and then we have also a shopping center. So I'm really lucky, and this is why I live where I live. I actually grew up very close to here, and I was always grateful for the fact that the shopping is great. We've got two really good department stores. We have a West Elm here, which I don't think is open. But we also have like a big shopping centre that's got a great and other stories, a great cause, a really good Zara, a really good Zara home. Vagabond store is there. Like it's it, it's got really good shops and the stock in all of those shops is really good as well. So the shopping experience is always much nicer than going into London anyway. So I would always choose to shop in my town over going into London. There's no compromise because all the shops that I like to go to are here and big and spacious and have really good stock allocation so that sounded really professional really good stock allocation but you know <laughs> like I mean the stuff that they get in is really good it's not like they get the dregs and I I just yeah I've really missed shopping and I and I hope that what this has also done I'm not really an online shopper anyway and I hope for other people that possibly they feel like that too and they just miss the high street being open and being able to go and look at things Hopefully that will help to revive the high street because it was having a bit of a tough time and has been having a tough time. But specifically in the UK, our high street is just second to none. We're so lucky to have the things, the shops that we do and the brands that we have. So um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I've just had some lunch and I've had quite a lazy morning of not really doing too much. Again, I've, although I feel motivated, energy and actually get up and go is the kind of the next thing to work on. So yeah, without me going on too much, let's head to the shops and see what we can see. Um, oh, should I just let you know, I'm wearing my Beyond Nine jumpsuit today, the Sahara linen one. I've literally just left the flat and we well, just walked out my flat and I feel like, oh, should I have gone to the loo before I left? And that is the constant struggle with being pregnant. It's, it's like having cystitis. You can't tell if you actually need the loo or not. And I did just go, so I definitely shouldn't need the loo again. But it is like this constant feeling. I guess maybe now because I'm bigger, um, thinking that you need the loo. I also have started to waddle. Um, as I walk. Oh god, that's very bright. Okay, so I'm in my first shop. Not the shop I was going to go into, but actually, I just remember this store does have a baby section, so that's what I'm going to head to. I already feel sorry for the people working here. <laughs> so when I walked in, they had to give you instructions, and I've already seen people not following those instructions, so... I just saw a girl I work with, and it was so nice to chat with her, but I'm just in the baby section. And I'm so excited because they stock Baby Maury, which is a brand that I have seen on Instagram that I love. And I can actually see the things in real life. So here we go. This is 
that's the brand there, Maury. And they do the cutest baby things. It's kind of gender neutral ish. Look how cute that is. Oh my god, it's very difficult not to get carried away. So, I just bought my first baby thing, which I'll show you when I get home. Um, and I've just come out into the shopping centre and H&M's open. But I'm just in H&M home, which is quite possibly the most exciting thing that's happened to me for months. It's dead in here, which is lovely. There's another vase in here that I'd quite like to treat myself to. I also need cushion covers. Um, one thing I have noticed is, even though we're out shopping, I feel like once you're in the shop, not everyone understands that you should still keep two metres distance. I've had people very close to me, which I don't appreciate. Um, I've wandered into the wrong section here. But I'm looking for their linen cushion covers. Do they have them? Good morning, everyone. Um, so, I didn't vlog that much yesterday after my shopping trip. Are you a bit monkey? I got home and, to be honest, I was actually quite exhausted from all the excitement of going out to the shops. But I got home, oh, and I was just going to pop in, wasn't I, do a little recce of the situation, just see what was open. I ended up bumping into a girl that I work with, which was lovely, and then yeah what was supposed to just be like a little half hour jaunt into town I ended up being in there for about two and a half hours and then yeah so when i came home i just felt exhausted i actually had naps <laughs> and i don't know if um the last couple of days i have been feeling exhausted and i am now officially in the third trimester of my pregnancy i don't know if it's that that really knocked me out or made me tired if it's the fact that i haven't actually been doing anything for the last three months and that was just a lot of energy and a lot of stimulation in one time. Uh, so yeah, I'm just getting ready now because I'm going to the midwife. Also, just quickly, I'm using this um, pigmentation, anti-pigment spot corrector from Userin. They sent me over their pigment range, their anti-pigment range, because um, I mentioned that I struggle with pigmentation, specifically where I'm putting it here on my top lip. And I have been using it the last couple of weeks and I really like it but particularly this because it's a really great option for spot treating pigmentation and it's not too spinny so I'm going to talk more about this at some point but I just thought I'd um a lot of you have asked me about stuff for pigmentation so I thought I'd just point that range out I'm not gonna put any makeup on I'm just gonna judge my hair with my living proof uh full dry volume blast Probably my favourite volume spray. It's really lightweight, um, but you can see the volume it achieves is pretty good. Um, I'm actually very happy with what my hair's doing at the moment in terms of the length of it and even the colour. I said I did my own balayage at the front, um, which seems to be okay. I would like some more through here, but until I can get to a salon, I don't think that's really going to happen. But yeah, I am very happy with what the hair's saying. Um, I think I mentioned I've decided to grow it and keep the colour quite easy and low maintenance purely obviously because of the baby stitch. Right, let me finish getting dressed and then I'll show you what I got in town yesterday. Okay, so here we are. This is what we're wearing to go to my midwife appointment. This really old shirt from COS, um, which I've had for probably about three, three or four years and they still do very similar styles. Um, but yeah, I mean, still fits, which is great. And then my trusty H&M ribbed trousers. I feel like I put my medium ones on the other day and they're definitely too tight now. So these are still out of stock, but I would love to get another large pair because I really just wear them every day. I'm so comfortable in them and there's nothing else that I want to be putting on myself, actually. And then my old... Uh, sandals from Urban Outfitters and if I show you what I bought in town got a couple of home bits one is a vase which I'll show you that's in the living room um, and I mentioned about I think I mentioned about cushion covers and wanting to update the sofa a bit because we've got four cushions on the sofa two big ones two slightly smaller ones the big ones have got the velvet cushion covers from H&M on them and they're like a very light pink and I just feel like velvet in general is just not a great cushion for a high traffic area and especially light coloured velvet. The amount we've been sitting on the sofa 
I just feel like they just look quite dull quite easily and velvet grabs onto things easily so yeah we've got another velvet cushion on another chair that we have but no one really sits on that chair and it's a dark coloured one so I feel like that doesn't take as much of a beating but these ones definitely do so I wanted to get these linen cushions and these were sold out online for ages these are the 50 by 50 but they're just like a natural kind of oatmeal coloured linen so I've got two of those to go with the big cushions and, and then this was my first baby purchase some rather extravagant muslins from Mamas and Puppers, and I got these because they're 50% off. So this is the first baby thing that I've actually bought. There's three large muslins in here, and full price they would be £22, which I know is extortionate for muslins, but they were 50% off, so they were £11, and they've got really nice kind of faded bunny print on them. And I just was like, I just want to get a little treat, so I'm going to get some nice muslins. Could have got really carried away, I was looking at a £32 romper suit, which was from Baby Maury, but I didn't, so I just bought those. But it's really got me in the mood to start baby shopping. And I was having a look at the, um, I was having a look at prams also in the department store I was in, and think I've identified ones that I really like. I'll talk a little bit more about baby things. I mean, is this something that pe people probably aren't really interested in that? But I definitely feel like. There's a few prams that I've been recommended and when I go and look at them, there's a few that I really like. In particular, I was looking at the egg stroller yesterday um, and one of my friends has the egg stroller at the moment and she recommended it to me. I've also been recommended the eye candy peach, which I like the look of, but when we went to look at buggies way before lockdown even started, I also really liked one that I found from Maxi Cozy. I mean, it's, it's all much of a muchness, all quite similar, aren't they? But if any of you have got any buggy recommendations or you've used the egg or a silver cross one or the eye candy, anything, let me know what you think because it would just be really appreciated to have some feedback on your buggy experience. There we go. Um, right, I, I feel like I look really tired today. Ugh, I mean, I don't have mascara on so I do look like a boiled egg. I'm just showing off my vase. Oh, we? There's Daddy Bear. Just chilling, busy as normal. Focusing on work. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really busy. Oh, I just thought I didn't show you my bump in the mirror, did I? We'll do that later. But anyway, this is the vase from Zara that I got yesterday. <coughs> and I was very happy. I think I mentioned for this pampas grass, it was in like a glass round vase I had, but I wanted a taller one. And I'd seen this one on Zara Home and um, kind of clicked on it to save in the shopping basket but as it happens it sold out a few weeks ago so I wasn't able to get it so when I went into Zara home yesterday it was actually on sale and it was reduced from 30 pounds to 20 and I think it's called the brown ombre vase but I just I couldn't stop looking at it could I yesterday I was like I kept looking at it going oh my god I love my new vase yeah was very happy about that 19.99 if you can grab one in a Zara home near you and also while we're on the subject of uh, house updates let's look at the olive tree because the growth is immense look at this all of those beautiful new leaves now I did someone told me to take all the dead leaves off which I did and I have also trimmed it but I don't think I've done a very good job and I don't know if I should have even trimmed it in the first place but here we are but also there's all of this kind of down the trunk <laughs> had to really think what that was called then so I'm not quite sure if that's supposed to happen or if there's a reason for that happening but either way I'm overjoyed at how lovely all these new leaves look just so green and lush hi thank you very much Something very exciting has happened. Nando's has never been available on our delivery and I was on delivery the other night and it, by some miracle it's now available. So we've just ordered quite an early dinner because it's only about 5.30. And coupled with shopping yesterday and now Nando's takeaway, this is probably the best week I've ever had in lockdown. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday. I keep losing track of the days again. Every morning when I wake up, I have to double check what day it is. I always think that we're a day ahead. But actually this week I feel like I'm a day behind. I feel like today's Wednesday, but it's not, it's Thursday. It's very gloomy. It's been really gloomy all week. So I'm just kind of pottering around today. There's a couple of things I'd like to do. I would like to go to the hair shop because the 
supplier where I get my colour and everything for doing hair is now open. So I am going to start doing hair again from July. For those of you that are aware that I'm a hairdresser and I work from home. I am just need to stock up on a few things really and I thought well why not just go and go down and have a look because <laughs> what else am I gonna do? I haven't really been out like Hainsey and I haven't really been doing our walks because it's been such rubbish weather. So I'm starting to feel a bit sluggish. And also on that note, sorry, I have to keep moving you because my arm aches. <laughs> Did I mention we're officially in the third trimester probably? And it's really funny because I don't know if this is to do with being in the third trimester, but this week particularly, I have been so tired. And I wondered if maybe it was the weather, because it, it's really humid even though it's gloomy, so it's that very close humidity. So you just feel a bit sluggish anyway, but I've been feeling really like next level tired. And this is the first time in my pregnancy that I felt this way. And it's just funny that I hit the third trimester last week and literally within the first week I'm all of a sudden exhausted all the time. So I think it's to do with that. I'm just thinking what was the point of me telling you that? Basically, I've just been really tired this week, is what I'm getting at. But yeah, so we're going to try to go to the hair shop. Another thing I'd like to do is to try and hang a couple of pictures. Um, you remember this I got from Desenio, and then I also had this print, which is from an Etsy seller. Um, I want to put these on the wall in the bedroom, so I'd quite like to hang those today. But I don't know, I feel quite nervous about hanging, hanging pictures. I just feel like... I'm going to do it wrong. I was going to wait and have either my brother around or my friend's husband to help us with all of our picture hanging desires because there's quite a few that we'd like to be hung. And Hainsley's not so handy around the house. He's a lot of things, a lot of wonderful things, but handy around the house is not one of them. Yeah, so that is my, that's my goals and ambitions for today. Oh, let me show you the bump actually because I said I would show you, didn't I? So here we go. There's Bumpy Boo. I don't know if um, like week to week when I show you in the vlogs if it looks that different, but I definitely feel like it's much bigger. I feel like it's growing like literally every day. Um, and also, I keep mentioning these H&M rib trousers. I've just ordered another pair because they're the most comfortable things ever. And they had been sold out for ages and then I checked yesterday and they are now back in stock. So I just ordered another large because I'm basically wearing them every day and... I think they are something that I would probably like to wear either to the hospital or coming home from the hospital because they are elastic and very airy and floaty and loose, which from my understanding you need um, post-pregnancy in abundance. Um, so I thought let me get another pair before I wear these out to death. So I'll link those down below because even if you're not pregnant I just cannot recommend these trousers enough. I feel like you can wear them out the house um, and dress, dress them up but still feel we basically feel like you're in pyjamas but you don't look like you're in pyjamas and that is always a winner for me. It's a bit later on um, and Hainsey and I just went for a walk. I also just grabbed him to quickly take a picture, an outfit picture outside for Instagram. I'm trying to get back into the swing of outfit pictures because I've kind of been doing like my maternity style I guess on my Instagram like that's been my focus and I've been really enjoying it and so anyway I grabbed him to do that and I have just been sitting down working on a blog post because I am relaunching my blog uh, I think just from being in lockdown I just decided why not I made a Squarespace account and have done everything and I've been populating it so I will link that down below because I would love for you to go and look at it if you fancy I just feel like maybe blogs are having a bit of a resurrection. I'm definitely looking at people's blogs a lot more. I don't know if it's just because we've got so much more time, but yeah, I don't know how often I'll upload to it or if it'll become a big thing, but I do quite enjoy doing it. And I think when you take outfit pictures and stuff, it always just feels like a bit of a waste to just post one on Instagram and then that's it. You can't really post any more. Whereas you get a lot more out of the content that you, that you produce when you can also put it on a blog so that's what I've been doing but also there's just one other thing I'd like to chat about and it's another baby thing I feel like I guess that's just what my life is now isn't it but I think we've talked about buggies muslins and now a baby book it's like who'd have thought I'd 
be so obsessed with baby things. But it does just happen. Like I never would have thought when I found out I was pregnant that I would even be remotely interested in talking about buggies. But all of a sudden it just takes over. But anyway, I ordered this book from Amazon and it is The Sleeping Baby Routine by Charmy and Mead. I know people have a lot of opinions on sleep routines as they do with everything to do with pregnancy and motherhood because everyone tells you. So <laughs> I'm well aware that a lot of you will be like, oh, good luck with that. I look at sleeping routines the same way that I look at hypnobirthing. From what I can tell, it just seems like a load of strategies that you can try to ensure that your baby gets the best sleep from a young age. And some of those strategies may not work and some of them might. Some of them might work for a couple of months. Some of them might work for a, a night. But it seems like it's just got some good, I don't know, I just feel like it's got some interesting things in there, like just making sure that you're feeding your baby properly and they're getting the most from every feed that they can and you burp them properly so that then they're not uncomfortable. So rather than getting this book thinking, oh, they're gonna sleep for 12 hours from the day they're born, it's more, I just feel like, knowing what to do, because I just have no idea what to do, even when t I think about routine. I think, how do I know when to wake it up, when to feed it, how long to play with it, when to put it to bed, it. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? And I'm sure these things will happen, and you know, the baby will probably dictate a lot of those things, but I always think it's good to prepare. So similar to hypnobirthing, I'm under no illusion that, and I'm not even really bothered about a completely natural birth, I'm under no illusion that birth is very traumatic and can be very traumatic. It's more just about coping mechanisms and strategies you can try out and just see if they work for you, and if they do then that's great, um, but you know, they might not and that's fine too. So yeah, before anyone <laughs> says to me this is not even worth doing and you know, early motherhood is horrendous because you can't sleep. I'm well aware of that, enough people have told me. Yeah, I just thought it would be a good thing to try. And I saw it because um, there's an Instagrammer called Kavita Cola, and she has been doing this recently because she had a baby maybe back in April, and it seems to be going well for her. So I just thought it's worth a try. I've obviously had people that I know in my life whose babies were very hard to get into a routine. I've also had people in my life tell me that I must do a sleep routine because it's the best thing that they've done. So you just try your best, don't you? And we'll just see what happens. But anyway, here we are. Here we go, baby on board. So it's Sunday and I'm seeing a friend today. How exciting is that? My friend Natalie is gonna come and see me. Some of you may have seen Natalie before. She's been in a couple of vlogs. I've done her hair a few times, but she is one of my very good friends. And she is coming to see me. Um, and I can't wait because it's like the first person in my life to actually see me properly pregnant because no one has. Because obviously I've been in lockdown since growing a bump. So my family have seen me on FaceTime, but no one's actually seen me like in real life. So I'm very excited. I'm just gonna pop to Sainsbury's and get some brunchy bits because um, I'm going to do just a little brunch and we're going to sit on my balcony and have a little distance catch up. <laughs> I've got this badge on. I don't know if I mentioned this badge. So <laughs> back in January, um, when I was first pregnant, I was in London and I don't really need to go into London that often, but when I was in London at that time and I, it was, I was very early pregnant, I just was very aware of how busy it was and how many people were around me at one time. And my friend said to me, get a baby on board badge. But I was like, oh, but I'm not really gonna need one because I don't really commute. But I, you just order them online and they send them. And I just thought, actually, I may as well because just in general, I think when you're out and about, it's just quite good to have one. Not so much on public transport so people give you a seat. It's more so that people give me space, if they even see the badge, because a lot of people don't. It was more for that, so that if I am in a busy place, people can see it and hopefully give me space, because you feel quite protective of your bump when you are in a busy space. Um, obviously, we're not in busy spaces now, but I wear it now because initially it was for when I was going to the supermarket and in case anything was to happen, like if I fell over or 
I don't know, just if something was to happen, again, they would know that I was pregnant. So when I go to Sainsbury's, I don't have to queue. <laughs> and I know that's like a really pathetic like thing to indulge in, but I don't really have many other perks of being pregnant at the moment because I haven't been able to be out. So I'm really taking advantage of that one. Um, I was queuing and I just had my badge on. And then the guy, whenever I was queuing, was like, you're, if you're pregnant, you don't need to queue. You can just come straight in. So I was like, oh, okay, great. So that's why I wear it because um, you've got to get your perks where you can, hun. So I'm going to head over to Sainsbury's, just pick up some avocado and juice and stuff. Um, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. I love using this handset thing, especially now when I come shopping because you just scan your shopping and then put it in your bag and then that's it, that's what you have to do. Oh wait, I think my memory card's running out. You're a bit wonky, but that's just kind of the way things are, aren't they? Um, so, badge off. And also, just to note, I wouldn't actually usually go to the supermarket when it's busy. I live basically opposite the supermarket, so I can just look out and see when it's not busy. But the only reason why I had to go this morning is because Natalie's coming over and I wanted to do a little spread. So, also, I had previously mentioned that I thought it was just Waitrose that did non-alcoholic wine and Sainsbury's only seemed to do non-alcoholic spirits and cider. Well, I actually went to the wine section of Sainsbury's today and they do have a non-alcoholic bit. It's separate in the wine section. So whereas Waitrose, all of their non-alcoholic stuff is together, Sainsbury's it's split up in the spirit aisle and the wine aisle. And the reason I thought to look there was because last time, not last time I went, but for Hainsey's birthday, we got non-alcoholic Prosecco and I thought that would be quite nice to have today with Natalie. And so I picked up another bottle because I really enjoyed this. Any excuse, it's only £3.75 as well. So yes, update, Sainsbury's also do a great selection of non-alcoholic wine options. So I don't have to go to Waitrose specifically for that because um, that was the only reason I was going to Waitrose. <laughs> and also because our Sainsbury's for ages didn't have eggs. Um, they had everything else, but for some reason it took a really long time for them to get their stock of eggs back to normal. So we had to keep going to Sainsbury's just to pick up eggs. Anyway, that's really neither here nor there. Some people are like, I think you're having a boy, and some are like, I think you're having a girl. Loads of people are adamant it's a girl, but then, but, okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, bye. Natalie, she just let me know she's on her way. I have just been preparing a little bit of food for us. I've just done basic smashed avocado. I don't have any lemon juice, but this has just got salt, pepper, and chilli in it. And then some balsamic -y, red onion, cherry tomatoes. And when she's here, I can do eggs for us and just put this together. I did also get these from Sainsbury's. These are the best crisps ever. They're very overpriced, very fancy, but if you're having a little get together, they're really nice to get. And this flavor is the best, caramelized onion and balsamic vinegar. So Natalie has been and gone um, and I didn't vlog any of it. And I haven't seen her or anyone for so long that as soon as she got here, we were just like, and yeah, before I knew it, she was leaving and I thought I haven't got my vlog camera out. But that is the sign of a good time. So I'm going to end this vlog here, but I did just want to mention something. You may notice that I have a different dress on. And this is a very special dress because a couple of vlogs ago, you may remember that I mentioned a brand called Olive Clothing. And I bought a dress from there and absolutely love that brand so much. Anyway, so after that vlog went up... I suddenly got an email in my inbox and it was a gift voucher for them and it had a name on it that I recognised and I thought, sorry what? And basically one of my subscribers, her name is Joy, 
Joy by Name, Joy by Nature, had sent me a gift voucher for this brand. So I messaged her and said, oh my God, what on earth? And she said she just wanted to do something to say congratulations on the pregnancy. And so that's what she did. This is not something I would ever expect anyone to do. So I'm not saying this um, to like gloat about it. It's more just to say thank you so much to Joy for that's such a kind thing to do. Not only given kind of the economic climate we're in, I suppose, because of the pandemic, but just in general. And Joy is someone who has supported me for years. Like, I don't know how long she's been with me as a subscriber, but I think, if not from the beginning, very, very soon after, because um, she's someone I've spoken to for years. And I was just so, I don't really know what the word is, overwhelmed just taken aback at the generosity of her so i wanted to make sure i showed this dress because it's because of her that i got it and and it's one that i've had my eye on for a while i really like the granddad neckline on it i know that's not going to be to everyone's taste and these ruffles and it has pockets you know how much we love a dress with pockets and as you can see it's white but it's not that see-through it's a really nice thick cotton but it's really soft and it's almost I can't really describe the cotton but it's not as crisp as like a Oxford shirt cotton but it's that type of thing but really comfortable and as I say not see-through at all because I was a bit concerned that this could be see-through but yeah it's another dress to add to my maternity wardrobe my maternity and beyond wardrobe and I just I'm so happy with it because it's exactly how I hoped it would be. Um, they do this in black and pale blue as well, I think. I'm tempted to have it in black because it will be great for work and great in the winter. But yeah, I just wanted to end on this note because it was just such a generous thing to do and, and so lovely. So thank you, Joy. This is the dress that I picked and thank you so much. So on that lovely note, I'm going to end this vlog and say thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. I really enjoyed vlogging this week and putting this together um, and I'm really happy to kind of be back in that space and I will, I plan to vlog this week. I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.